Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to EC Elimu Learning Simplified. Today in grade 4, on our subject is science and technology. Welcome to living things. And we'll start by reviewing ourselves. In our previous class in grade 3, we identified some of living and non-living things. And I would want we group ourselves into two and come back to our table here. In our nature corner, we have some animals, we have some plants, we have things that have been displayed for you to look at. Now, in your pairs, can you identify what has been presented for us on the table? Yes, come on, what can you see on the table? Come on, I said, you can see a lion. Yes, we have a lion on the table. What about you, Jen? Jen has said he has seen a stone. Thank you, Jen. This is a stone. Jen had seen a stone. What about you, Vicky? Vicky can see some soil. Yes, we have soil, among others. These are things that are found in our surroundings. And in our surrounding, we have but a few to mention. Even but a model of a living thing. This is a snake. This is a snake, but it's a model, so don't fear my learner. This is a model of an animal. Now, when we talk of living things, what do we mean by living things? Who can give us an answer? Yes, Esther. Correct for your answer. Living things, these are things with life. Things with life. Things with lives. So, we say living things Living things are things with life. And in this whole world, we only have two living things that were created by God. These are plants and animals. Repeat again, plants and animals. So I'll write plants are living things and animals. These are two living things. What about when we say non-living things? What do we mean by non-living things? For example, on our nature corner, we have stone, we have soil, even a dead plant, a piece of plant. These are non-living things. Non-living things, they are things without life. Non-living things And living things are things without life. Are things without life. Are things without life. Things without life, we call them non-living things. Things without life, we call them non-living things. And on our table, we had just a few. For example, stones. Stones. Class, in our groups, I would wonder us now, we differentiate between living and non-living things as displayed on our nature corner. In our groups, can we discuss? Then we come and fill our table here about the living, and non-living, living and non-living. So, from our table, what can you see? Who will give us a living thing from the table? Whatever we have here, an example of a living thing? Wangare, what is an example of a living thing from our table? Wangare has given us lion as an example of living thing, correct, Wangari? Another example of a living thing from our table, you can see, we have plants, correct. <laughs> Another example from Kamau, we have the snake. Snake is an example of a living, living thing. Snake is another example of a living thing. Another example, Jen can give us an answer. We have tiger. 
Tiger is an example of a living thing. Now, examples of non-living things from our nature corner. We have them here. One of them is, yes, John. John has given us stones. Stones, they don't have life. So we call them non-living things. Another example of non-living things from our nature corner. Who can give us another example? Victor. Yes, Victor has given us soil as an example of a non-living thing. So we say soil is an example of non-living thing. Now, I want us to redo whatever we have said. I've said in our environment, we have so many things that surround us. So many things that surround us. And to mention but a few, we say some of them are living Others are non-living. And we have said living things are things that have life. Things that have life. And they had given an example of plants and animals as examples of things that have life in our surrounding. And we have said non-living things, these are things without life. Things without life. And just an example is stones. Stones cannot breathe. Stones cannot breathe. They cannot move, not unless you pick them and you transfer them to another place. So we say stones are examples of non-living things. Even we have soil. Soil is an example of non-living thing. Things that do not have life. We call them non-living things. And from what we have done, or we have analyzed from our table of examples of living and non-living things. But there's one that you have not given me as an example of non-living thing from our table. We have a table and a chair. A table and a chair is an example of non-living things. Table, chair, just a few but examples of non-living things. Now, I want us to do this activity. This is our activity. This is our activity. When you go home, when you go home, with the help of your parents, when you go home, with the help of your parents, kindly identify living and non-living things in your environment. When you go home, with the help of your parents, kindly identify living and non-living things that are found in your home. And tomorrow morning, make sure you have a table like this. We can now go through each one of you and see whether you have grouped them correctly. And this marks the end of our lesson. Bye bye.